What is it? Two. Two. Sure. We'd okay. like to uh, thank Chase Bank for hosting this event and also the Earth Day Net. Right now, I would like to present to you Melissa Baswell, who is the owner of Mountains of the Moon, an eco friendly um, design company for your clothing. Melissa. Hi everybody, are you guys all enjoying this beautiful day, the wonderful city of Chicago? Chicago is actually one of the greenest cities in the world, you might not know that. My name is Melissa Baswell and I am the owner and head designer of Mountains of the Moon Eco Fashion. And for the last few years we have been designing, been designing clothing that is not only fashionable but also eco-friendly. So I'm just going to talk with you guys really quickly about how you can make a difference in the state of the environment just by the clothing that you're wearing. So what is eco-fashion? Some of you might hear that word and maybe not have the best ideas in your head about what that means. Up until recently, eco-fashion kind of meant shapeless, boring, Clothing that maybe wasn't the most flattering, but thankfully recently that's changed and there really is fashion in the world, in the word eco-fashion now. A lot of big designers, a lot of mainstream companies who never considered organics before are really starting to realize the demand for eco-fashion. And for designers like me, that's great because now we have access to more sustainable fabrics, low impact dyes, and in turn we can make clothing for all of you guys that's really something that you want to wear that's fashionable. The dress that I'm wearing, for example, it's not your stereotypical eco-fashion. It is 100% organic cotton. It is low impact dyed and made in the USA, but it's also stylish. Very stylish. So maybe you guys are thinking, what does this have to do with me? I'm not a fashion designer. Well, that's the best part. You're already wearing clothes, at least most of the time. And so just by doing something you're already doing, but being more mindful about it, you can make a difference in the state of the environment. And the thing for me even is that you you hear all these statistics and these figures about Ooh, the state the of the earth and, and the turmoil going on in the planet and you feel like this is so overwhelming, what can I do as an individual? And the reality is, as an individual, the things we do in our, our daily lives, things we're already doing, collectively are what will make a change in the state of the Earth's condition. And you're already waking up every day, you're already getting dressed, so by wearing eco-friendly clothing, making this, this simple mindful decision, you can easily make a difference. So you get this, you understand it, maybe you're thinking, Number one, what's so bad about the clothing that I'm wearing now? It's not eco-friendly, but what's so bad about it? Number two, if I want to buy some eco-friendly, how do I even know if it's eco-friendly? In terms of what you're already wearing, conventional fabrics are one of the biggest, most destructive things for our planet. 25% of the world's pesticides are used in growing conventional cotton, many of which are known to cause diseases such as cancer. 800 million pounds of pesticides are dumped on U.S. cotton fields each year. And not only are they destroying the environment, getting in the land and in the soil, but they're also getting in the water you're drinking, the air your children are breathing. It's, it's really gross, but thankfully sustainable fabrics are the solution to this problem. Or no clothes at all! So, yeah, exactly. So, let's say now you feel guilty about what you're wearing and you decide you're going to go buy something eco-friendly next week. How do you know if it's eco-friendly? Read the label. It's the same as when you go to the grocery store, you're reading the ingredients. The ingredients our clothing are listed too. Look for four things. Number one, look at the fabric content. Look for words like hemp, organic cotton, tencel, bamboo. Number two, look for the percentages. Is it 100% organic cotton or is it just 10% organic cotton? Number three, look where it's made. Is it made in the U.S.? takes a huge amount of fossil fuels to transport goods from other countries. And if it's not made in the U.S., is it made fair trade? Is it made sweatshop free? 
True eco fashion is also socially conscious and doesn't life. exploit workers. So all of that said, I would like to introduce you to our friend Mindy and show you an example of eco fashion. Mindy is wearing uh, Mountains of the Moon spring yeah, design called the Audrey dress. 55% hemp, 45% of kind of cotton. Made sweatshop free in the USA. Low impact dyed, and she looks really hot. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So this is a lot of information for you guys to remember. I tell people remember three words, and these are three words that have really become the motto for our company: smart, sustainable, style. Smart means buying clothing making a smart decision, buying clothing that, that is made in the USA, clothing that is beautiful, clothing that you're going to wear, sustainable, using eco-friendly fabrics, and style. And this is the most important part. People forget this a lot. You want to buy something that's well-made. You want to buy something that's classic. This is a huge inspiration for us at Mountains of the Moon. We really want to design clothing that's on trend, but not something that's going to fall apart after one season, not something that you're maybe going to wear once and it's going to end up in a landfill. Another thing I want to quickly point out, thrift stores are the ultimate in eco-friendly clothing. You're reusing, you're recycling. Go to your local Goodwill, go to thrift stores, ultimate eco-friendly way to shop. The best part for me in terms of what I consider eco-fashion is that when you're wearing something that's organic or hemp and someone comes up to you and says you look really good, which they will, you can say to them, yes, thank you, this is great, but guess what else? It's organic cotton, guess what else? This is hemp. And in that respect, you're educating people. You're sharing something. You have a story to tell. And that is the most amazing part of it. Margarita, my beautiful friend Margarita, she is wearing the Mountains of the Moon brick top, 55% hemp, 45% organic cotton. Mountains of the Moon Betty mini skirt, 55% hemp, 45% tensile. I've been with Margarita, she gets complimented on her eco-friendly clothing all the time, she's gorgeous. And then when people say, Margarita, you look beautiful, she says, thank you, and guess what? This is also eco-friendly. Are you kidding? She can wear so, a potato sack and look hot. You can look really hot and, and still be making a huge impact in the state of the earth, right? So that's pretty much it, you guys. Remember, smart, sustainable style. If you guys have any questions, if you want to see or touch eco-friendly clothing in person, Mountain Moon has a booth right over there. If down the road you have questions, feel free to contact any of us, www.mountainsofthemoon.com. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Most importantly, you guys are all having an amazing day incredible music, beautiful weather. Take the feeling that you guys have with you today, take it home, share it with your friends, share it with your family. That is the way we will make a difference in the environment, by all banding together, by educating people, and by sharing these feelings what, that we have, and letting people know that collectively, we will make a difference in the state of the environment. Thank you guys so much. Happy Earth Day, enjoy the rest of the day. Everybody, there's a missing child uh, named Tyrese. He's at the Gateway Pavilion, which is over... Uh